Hey, Kev. Um, the Always Sunny themed, I used about four seconds, and I used it in a, uh, a, a sense of a parody. So don't think that they're going to hit us with a copyright strike. And if they, we're not even making money because they changed the stupid algorithm. So it's not like we're using it for monetary gain. And did you change your setup again? So question of the day, is the hot and spicy food really worth the night on the toilet? Then again, there is Rutz Hut and White Castle that is worth the night on the toilet. I'm just kidding, that wasn't the question of the day. Obviously, it's the first thing in the video. Let me explain camping. The fact that it sometimes lands on the weekend of my birthday is a... Complete coincidence. It's usually the second weekend in August. It is a hybrid type camping. I do not sleep in the cabin, but there is a cabin there for the people who, you know, the older people and the, like the babies and stuff. But my dad's cousin owns a few acres of land in upstate New York. Oh, it's so beautiful over there. But so they have the cabin and then, you know, down the hill is the main campsite where we have a bunch of like, uh, tables and stuff and a fire pit or a campfire I should say you go up the hill a little bit and there's a giant like giant field and we all pitch our tents over there we pitch our tents and we, we sleep there we do sleep in the tents overnight uh, believe us there's coyotes and stuff all around and bears and stuff we ride uh, ATVs all around during the day it's so much fun we go into the woods deep into the woods uh, it's so much fun but I don't I make it a point not to take, not to use the shower because you're camping. You're supposed to be smelly. Don't use the shower. What are you doing? You get muddy. You just get muddy. But I look forward to camping all year, and then it, it's like the one thing I look forward to all year. And then it's over in two days. And sometimes it's raining like really hard. That's always the worst when it's raining during camping. But it's like just seven. It's like seventy of us, all the cousins. It's it's so much fun. So much fun. So back on the topic of the lists, I understand what you're saying. I think there are two different types of lists. One list is acceptable and the other it's not. The list where it's acceptable are the ones like uh, if you're doing fantasy football or, you know, things that have to do with statistics or, you know, uh, trying to find the best home. Things that aren't made for the suspense and the entertainment side of things. So I don't want to know who's 25th on the list of best football players. I want to know who's number one so I could make my decision. I don't want to know what the 25th best house is in the, on the market. I want to know what the number one house is in the, on the market. But then there are the ones that are purely for entertainment that you know it should really be meant to start at the bottom. Or even, even so, like, when somebody wins something. If you have, like, a big tournament, right, and at the end you say, in first place is Joe, and second place is Larry, and third place is Mo. It's like, it's diminishing second and third place. But if you're listing the winners the other way, you build up the suspense. You're like, in third place, we got Mo. In second place, we got Larry. And in first place, Joe! See, see what I mean? So like things like the top 10 video games of all time, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a good video game. Number nine. Oh, that's, that's an even better video game. All the way boom, 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 up to one, you're like, yes, this list understands good video games. But when you do the number one spot first, it's like, why do I care what number two got? No, who got number two? Like, I don't care about second best now. It's different. I, I don't like when they do it for everything. It, it's, entertainment lists should be starting from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. I don't even like that song. I don't know how it goes. I just know that line. Started from the bottom of the whole... I don't know. You just spilt a gallon of water on yourself? 
What are you doing? So you get that echo in your stream. Um, how are you set up? Do you um, do you have the audio coming out of your speakers? You don't have speakers, do you? Because the other thing I could think of is your mic, your talking mic, is picking up the audio somehow. And once it gets to there, it does that loop type thing. Um, or Streamlabs is just difficult to use. I never use Streamlabs. I use OBS, and I think I should get you set up with OBS. I don't know all the features in Streamlabs. I do use Streamlabs strictly for the Twitch chat. And uh, speaking of the Smash tournament, I won my first week round. I almost made it to the four-way Smash for MVP. Mm, my brother knocked me out the last second. Urgh. So I would have been in it. It's going to be starting in like 20 minutes or something like that. What is my favorite breakfast cereal? Waffle Crisp. Can't get it anywhere anymore. It tastes like waffles, and it's amazing. And then there was, a, there was another brand after my shop right stopped carrying Waffle Crisp called uh, Good Mornings. It, it, was, it still tasted exactly like Waffle Crisp. You can get Waffle Crisp online, but I don't know how good the dates are. But that's my favorite. Real question of the day. So, music is fantastic. Musicians are wonderful. They're super creative. And there's a lot of, of different types of concepts in music. And my, I'll tell you what my favorite is right away. But the question is, what's your favorite type of music, musical concept? So mine are motifs. And basically what a motif is, is like a, the same theme of a song done in other works by the same person. So the most perfect example, two perfect examples I could think of are Coheed and Cambria. They're really big on this. There's even a whole video. Uh, it's called Coheed Reprisals, Motifs, and Themes. If you're a Coheed and Cambria fan, if you're a music fan, just listen to it. They do so much of this. And it's, it's just amazing. But my favorite from theirs, three songs, Blood Red Summer, The Willing Well 3, and No World for Tomorrow. Well, first of all, in um, uh, Wishing Well 3 and Blood Red Summer, it starts off with the... They both do that thing. Uh, listen to the song. It'll sound better than when I do it. And then in all three of the songs... They do the, what did I do to deserve? So in Blood Red Summer, it's a, it's, uh, what did I do to deserve? What did I do to deserve? Yeah. Yeah. And in the Willing Well 3, it's, uh, way, way. What did I do to, to deserve all of you? And that's when it goes into the burning. And then in No World for Tomorrow, it's the, uh, the, whoa, what did I do to deserve? Oh, oh, what did I do to deserve all of you? And there's so many. It's in so many Coheed songs where he does those those motifs, and it just it blows my mind. Brian Scary does it too. It's just how he can make the same thing work in multiple songs in different ways just always fascinates me. But there are so many different musical concepts. I want to know. Just just try and look at what they are if you don't know, and see if anything like just kind of jumps at you. At oh yeah, that that's familiar. I'm sure there's other stuff in like. Offspring songs and Blink-182 and a bunch of probably Will Smith songs probably has something. But just check it. Let me know. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, bah, bah, thumbs up. A few buttons away is that subscribe button. I'm going to guess it's over here. I probably am completely wrong. If I got it perfectly, that'd be amazing. Right here. You can follow me on Twitter at 90sGuyTom. You can follow Kevin on Twitter at 90sGuyKev. 
You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90s guys. And with that, you'll see me next time. Good eye, sniper. I shoot. You run the words you scribbled on the walls. The lots of friends you didn't have. I call you when the time is right. Are you in or are you out? For them all to know the end of a soul.